Good morning, you sexy people. Damn, you guys are looking extra shredded today. What's up guys? It's been a long time since I've made a what I eat in a day type of video and on top of that, I'm doing the 75 hard challenge. So I thought what better time to show you guys what I'm eating in an average day to lose a little bit of body fat. And before this video begins, I just wanna make sure you guys all know the one thing, the one true fact, and that is, if you guys wanna lose body fat, the way you have to do that is be in a caloric deficit. I mean, you guys can try whatever you want, the magic syrup or taking the magic pills and seeing if that makes you lose weight, but uh, I'm just saying, if you eat in caloric deficit, you're gonna lose weight. But I know, the first thing you're thinking, cool, how do I know I'm in a caloric deficit? How many calories do I have to eat? Well, guess what? That's up to you to figure out because I have no idea. Everybody's different. Uh, you can just get an estimate online. You can go to a website and uh, type in your age, your weight, and get an estimate. But most of the time, these are gonna be wrong. So what I recommend you doing is eating a specific amount of calories for like a week or two, and you gotta make sure you're tracking everything, weighing your food, making sure it's exact, and after that week or two, if you had lost weight, then that means you're eating less than your maintenance calories. And if you gain weight, that means you're eating more than your maintenance calories. And then you can adjust it from there. So basically what I'm saying is eat less if you're trying to lose weight and eat more if you're trying to gain weight. It's as simple as that, guys. I promise you. But anyways, guys, let's just get into this video and what I'm eating to lose a little bit of body fat, but hold on to that muscle over the next, like, I think it's 70 days left now. So let's get into it. Meal number one. All right, meal number one. It's really just what I eat first thing in the morning. Right now I'm eating these Builders protein bar. Absolutely gas, probably one of the best protein bars I've ever tasted. And then a cup of coffee, you know. Occasionally we sit out, you know, we watch the sunrise. I'm just kidding, never do that, but sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I normally just eat one of these and uh, drink some coffee, which is very hot. These are 280 calories, I have 20 grams of protein, and then coffee obviously has zero calories and gives me the energy to uh, slay Superman. Cheers, see you at meal number two. All right, for meal number two, we got ourselves four eggs, some cheese, and then a smoothie with one of those muscle milk protein shakes. Um, if you can see, look how ginormous this shake is. Usually I don't even put yogurt in it, but that would be 170 calories by itself. This thing is so filling and 20 grams of protein. But with the Greek yogurt, it's probably like 230 calories and 23 grams of protein. These are just estimates, guys. I don't have my scale, unfortunately, so I'm just been estimating everything. Probably close to 300 calories for the eggs, 25 grams of protein, and then 110-ish calories for the cheese and about six grams of protein. So that's like 50 something grams of protein for like a 500, 600 gram meal right here. So we are going to enjoy this. Absolutely delicious. We're gonna enjoy this and then we're gonna move on to the next meal. Mm. So I'll catch you guys in a couple of hours. Let's go. All right, for meal number three, I don't know, meal number three or meal number four, we got two cheese bacon burgers. These things are 440 calories each, so it's 800 calories, and each has 26 or 28 grams of protein. I'm not sure, it doesn't really matter. They both have a lot of protein, because this, this meal is like 50 something grams of protein, and on top of that, half a banana. Why, you may ask? Well, that's all I got left. Anyways, these things are delicious. They're pretty high in fat, but you know, we can deal with that. Just because we have only eaten so little calories today that eating a big meal like this, but it's not really big. Eating a high calorie meal like this is not gonna affect anything because we're still way off that calorie limit that we kinda hit today. So two burgers and a banana, here we come. Banana's like 50 calories, probably no protein in there, but it's good. Let's eat. Muy delicioso. All right, I'm gonna finish up this meal 
I'm gonna catch you on the last meal of the day whenever I have that in a couple of hours. All right, check it. All right guys, and here we have it, the final meal. I know this is such a basic meal, but uh, it's good, I guess. And I've seasoned the shit out of the, the chicken. But uh, basically just a uh, chicken breast or thigh. I'm not really sure. I think this is a, a thigh. And then uh, half a cup of rice. So the rice is like 320 calories, got like six grams of protein in it. And then the chicken is only like 250-ish calories and has like 40 plus grams of protein in it. So I'm gonna throw some soy sauce on there. That's another like 15, 30 calories. But that is pretty much it for the day. But anyways guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. That's kind of what I'm eating right now. And if you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new guys, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out everybody.